Pat, you feel, Mark, that this is, when we have a slow economy like this, this is a good time for the stock market. So this is a sweet spot for the economy, and the Fed keeps defending. Every time we slow down, they come in, QE2, QE3, which both when the, the leading economic indicators were starting to roll over, and they're playing a prevent defense to protect against a double-dip recession. Mm -hmm. How do you protect your money? Well, you stay away from the companies that can't grow those revenues, and you go with the companies that are showing not only earnings but also strong revenue growth so you want to you want to re require the company to show that it's hitting on all the cylinders don't look that positive in trading afterwards I mean what was your overall takeaway from that tone a good company doesn't always make a good stock sometimes things are discounted in the price after it's run up for quite a while mm -hmm. and when the earnings come out even when they're good earnings sometimes the stock tops out and right now it looks like stocks have been correcting for the past okay. few weeks even though the Dow has masked that somewhat Scott author of trade like a stock market wizard mark since you're the wizard give me the one stock that you like right here and that stock is LinkedIn. It's uh, digested the earnings quite well. 13 million shares piled into the stock on the earnings report. And that's not your Aunt Betty going in there. That's institutions piling in. And better yet, it's held up very well since then. So I think the stock can go even higher. Is this tied to what people think this earnings season is going to look like? Well, I think one thing is the unemployment numbers coming in uh, worse than expected. Short term is a good thing for the market because that's going to keep the Fed easing. Uh, longer term, if unemployment should turn up uh, dramatically, that would be a bad thing for them. Oh, if unemployment turns up, it yes. gets worse. Okay, unemployment turns up. Like in the 1980s when we had unemployment, sure. we, we peaked out and then it turned back up and went to a double dip recession. This time around, we had two recessions in the last 10 years. During the 1970s going to 80, we had four recessions. So it's possible we could have another recession. We have to watch unemployment very carefully here. If unemployment rate starts turning up, that's a big problem for the stock market. Mark Minervini, I'll never get anything right. A trader who now runs Minervini Private Access. He's also the author of Trade Like a Stock Market Wizard. <laughs> hey, you know, there were a lot of concerns. Anytime you tell somebody, I'm taking your money, even though it's above our equivalent of the FDIC insurance matter. They have their own insurance of that sort. But anytime you do that, people are going to get a little freaked out. Why wouldn't they? Uh, unlike some other people that think this is a big deal, I don't think this is going to be a big deal whatsoever for the U.S. I think it will blow over, and in long term, it might actually be a positive for the How U.S. How so? Because it will get them to straighten their, their mess out? Or? No. What it, what it will do is, just like the Asian contagion back in 98, when everybody was worried that that was going to spill over into the U.S., what it actually did was made the U.S. be the place that is the relative safe haven. And you get what's called a flight to quality, and people come to our bonds and our markets. So when there's turmoil around the world, ultimately, that turns out to be good for the U.S. That's what